Hello everybody, my name is Jo Ludlow. I've got a salon and a training hairdressing academy in Worcester. I'm also here representing GHD today to show you how to straighten your hair properly. I've seen so many people drag the stylus through and the hair looks dead to the, fa to the face. So I'm going to show you a few techniques as we go through today. So with Sophie's hair, we've already prepped it and blow dried it. So we're just going to comb all the hair back. And then we're going to take about a two inch section at the back and clip out that hair we're not using. So I'm just going to concentrate on this side first. I'm now going to spray on some of the creation spray. Okay. Even though I've got all those layers already, the creation spray is going to help hold the shape for me. So we're just going to spray on a slight mist and then just work it through with your hands. The heat of your hands will help work it into the hair. Just going to get a small section, comb through, <clears throat> pop in and run the styler down to give a nice shape. You can still see I've got the body at the root, but this is a really nice finishing touch on longer hair. So in and run straight down. Now that steam you can see coming off isn't the hair burning, it's actually the product, the creation spray, just being dried off. And you can see, this leaves a really nice, clean, straight section, but which isn't flat to the head. It makes the hair still look really healthy. So I'm now just going to work up the head, taking about two inch sections. So it really is important to get a really good foundation on your hair first, which is to do with the preparation and the products that you use. It just looks beautiful. And it should look like glass, not horrible, dry, frizzy hair. So as you can see, we're getting a really, really nice finish on there. So we're just going to carry on now, just up the head. So as you can see, I haven't really taken any sections as such, but just using that head shape as a guideline, really. So I don't want any hard lines in there. Sometimes if you section off, you can get lines left in there where you've actually, it's dried in that shape. But if you sort of use the head as a template, you get more of a natural effect at the end. So as I'm getting further up the head, I'm just using the palm of my hand to go over, just to work that creation spray through. spray through. As you can see, I'm not sort of spraying too close, just want a slight mist through there. 
working it through with the heat of your hands and then just take your section and the hair should feel really light and floaty on the head not stuck to it I'm just going to do the fringe just slightly bevel on the ends and take out be careful of dropping that on to your client's face because obviously that hair is quite warm so protect it with your hand as well just before you drop it down just going to do my last section just comb the section through So, as you can see, it's not lying flat to the head. We've got some root movement up there, and the hair looks wonderful and shiny, but with a real nice edge.